Hey everybody, back for another session of yoga. Here for another 30 minute session with you and we'll do some similar things. Of course with yoga there are always some um, some things that are the same with some warm ups, some stretching, focusing on the breathing. We almost always do tabletop and cat cow, but we'll do a few more different things today with this session. So um, we're going to get started today seated and again any position that's good for you if this is comfortable for you the way i'm sitting kind of sitting back on your heels um, i think for an extended period of time that gets a little bit uncomfortable but get in your comfortable seated position again whether that's just legs straight out and that doesn't have to be anything uh, fancy or rigid you know you don't have to sit like a this is a staff pose in yoga, but we're not going to think about staff pose right now. Just get in a comfortable position. Knees can just kind of fall to their natural position or sit cross-legged as we often begin in yoga. So um, I have a friend named Tanuja and she taught me this method of breathing for, for yoga, a relaxation method. So I always call it Tanuja's breathing. Um, and we're going to just do some breathing for some counts. I'm going to breathe in for a certain amount of time, for a certain count, and we'll breathe out. So when I say, um, let's breathe in for a two count, then when I say the word in two, that will be like, I will be using the word in as the number one. So if I say in two, three, it's the same as saying one, two, three. So if I say in, that's like in, two, three, out, two, three, that's a three count. So when I say in, out, just use that as a one count. I hope that makes sense. Um, so let's just start, and as always, let's close our eyes and get ready to begin focusing on the breath, which again, for yoga, breath is the way that brings us to the present moment. Breath is an anchor that brings us where we are to the present moment, brings us to your mat. So, Let's focus on the breathing. Let's close eyes and begin. So we're just going to do some normal breathing of in, out. The thought with this Tanuja's breathing is to make the inhales and the exhales, trying to make them the same length. So let's close eyes and we'll do it in for two. We'll start with the two count. In two, out two. Let's do in three. In two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three. Let's go down. We'll go from four back down to one. In, two, three. Out, two, three. In, two, out. In, out. Okay, that makes sense to you. Let's work on that a little bit more. We're starting with two, three, four, then we'll go back down to three, two, one. So, close eyes, back to focusing on breathing. In, two, out. In, two, three, out. In, two, three, four, out. So when you're breathing in and you're counting, you're holding that breath and then letting it back out slowly. Let's try that one more time. In, two, out. In, two, three, out, two, three. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. We'll go back down. In, two, three, out, two. In two out two. In out. It's a lot of focus on breathing, but that's good. When you focus on breathing, not only does it anchor you to the present, there's a relaxation that happens in your body when you focus on this breathing. So we're all kind of down here now. We're focused on the mat and we're uh, anchored to the present time. So let's just go back to some normal breath. We're going to resume normal breathing here. In, out. Again, in, pushing the belly out. Exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale, draw in. Good. Let's begin today. Um, another thing that Tanuja taught me is kind of a relaxation for your face. So get that down into your 
normal, easy pose, whatever that is for you. Bring palms together, rub palms together. You're warming up the palms here, warming the palms. And then with your warm palms, place them on your closed eyes. And you kind of walk your palms down your face, massaging your face with the palms of your hands. And down here at your chin, just tap your eyelids. Let's do that again. Rub the palms together. So they get nice and warm. And then place on your closed eyes. Then massage your face by walking your palms down to your chin and then tapping your eyelids. Do that one more time. Rub the palms together. Closed eyes, walk down your face, to your chin, tap your eyelids. Good. You know, your shoulders down. Again, always thinking of pushing your shoulders down away from your ears, lengthening the neck, relaxing the shoulders. Move positions if you need to. I know it's hard to sit like that for a while. Maybe sit, uh, push your hands back. Let's just shake the legs out a little bit. Just get comfy. To roll the shoulders back and forth, look up a little bit, stretching the back, bring your shoulder blades together, just relaxing the body, feeling some good stretching and warm, warming up the body, warming up the spine. And then let's come back to any easy seat and let's do a little bit of, of head and neck warm ups. This is a neutral position when you're looking straight ahead. But for now, we're going to bring chin down to chest. Slowly bring your chin down to your chest, stretching the back of your neck. And then slowly bring your head up, gazing all the way up to the ceiling, stretching the front of your neck. Let's do that again, slowly, slow head movements always. If we do too much, too quickly, we can feel dizzy. So. Slow movements, bringing chin back into chest, gazing down at the mat, and then slowly taking your gaze up to the ceiling. And we'll do that one more time. Bring chin down to your chest. And slowly bring that up all the way up. Good. And bring head back to neutral. And let's do a little side neck stretch. So right hand towards your left ear. Right hand up, stretching up, bringing it to your left ear and gently pull toward the right side. You're going to feel that stretch all down the side of your neck and into your shoulder holding that stretch for just a few seconds. Nice, gentle, no hard pulling. It's really just a very gentle pulling on the side of your head. And then come on up to neutral and the other side. Take left arm straight up nice and high. Bring it down to the top of your right ear. Gently pull towards your left shoulder. back up to neutral. Let's just kind of shake our head slowly and do some very slow circles. Like your nose is a pencil and you're drawing some circles nice and slow. Very slow movements here. And then slowly go the other way. Change directions. Draw a couple of those circles. Now that we're nice and dizzy, Let's bring our focus right back up to the, to the front. Nice neutral gaze, but let's swing around. We've been in this position for a while and I know it gets hard to sit for very long in the same position. Let's swing around here to tabletop. So again, this tabletop is aptly named because we want our back to be as flat as a tabletop. So we're in this nice neutral position. Fingers spread wide, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, nice neutral position where we'll get in a few of our cat cows. So belly drops in cow, hips lift up, 
as the head lifts up. Big inhale in the cow position. And then exhale into arch back of a cat. Drawing that belly in. In the cat pose. Inhale up. And exhale arch. Inhale up. Exhale, arch. Do two more of those. Inhale up. And exhale, arch. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come back to neutral spine. Neutral tabletop. And stretch out the heels. So extend left foot behind you, curling the toes. Push back through that heel. Pushing the front of the mat away from you. Like you're trying to separate the mat, you're trying to tear the mat in half. You're pushing in the front and then pushing back. Stretch the mat apart. Let's hold that stretch a few more seconds. Most of us don't hold stretches long enough. You always hold a few seconds longer than you think you should. Bring that back in and let's go to the other side. Step right foot out, curling the toes. Pushing the hands forward as you push the heel back. Good. Come on back up to neutral tabletop. And I think we need to relax our spine a little bit. So let's do a little bit of twisting. And then we're going to push back into child's pose. So the traditional child's pose of just pushing back is great. Or you can bring big toes together and get the knees nice and wide on the mat, pushing the heels back. Feel like you're almost sitting on your heels, extending the hands out, and bring forehead down to the mat, all the way down. This is indeed a relaxation pose. Let's take three rounds of breath here. Deep inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. up to neutral tabletop and let's sit back on the heels for just a moment. Okay. Here we are back into neutral tabletop and let's just swing around here. Again we need to keep changing positions often because the back gets tired, legs get tired, everything gets tired of kind of being in the same spot so I like to change it up as much as we can. Let's come back around to a seated position. We're going to work on the Sage's Pose today. We've done this before. Extend both legs straight out, but bend the right knee, bring it in, bring the right knee in. So it's pretty close to your body, as close as you can. Rest back on the right hand, so your right knee is bent, foot flat, right hand is behind you, and then we're going to do that stretching up again like tapping. We're stretching up before we make a bend. Other than just doing this, we're going to warm the body and stretch up before we do any other kind of twisting in the body. So with your left hand, take it straight up like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Big stretch up. Now bend your elbow and hook it on the outside of your right knee. Let me show you that motion again. Stretching up, bend the elbow, hook it on the outside, and then you're twisting your body to the right. Put your hand nice and flat. You're almost pushing in on your knee a little bit. But you're gazing over to the right. Keep breathing. Never hold your breath. Sometimes when I give instructions or when anyone gives instructions in weight training or yoga or any kind of instruction, we can focus on that so much we forget to breathe. But always keep steady breathing. Good. Bring the right hand down. Send the right foot, the left hand down. Right leg out. Let's shake that out a little bit. Just kind of feel you want to loosen up your shoulders and back a little bit. Shake out the legs before we go to the other side. And now we'll go to the left. Bring your left foot in, knee bent. Rest back on your left hand. And let's do the same on this side. Extend arms straight up high, stretching out that taffy. If you're trying to touch the ceiling, 
and then bend the elbow and poke it on the outside of your right, of your left knee. Let's do that one more time. Stretching up, bend, poke it on the outside of your left knee. Spread your fingers wide, palm straight out, and gaze to that side. As you're gently pushing in, you're pushing in with that elbow on your knee, gazing to this side. Breathing. Sometimes these postures, just like in life, we think, oh, I can't do this. I can't hold this any longer. Of course, if there's ever pain, totally stop. Whatever we're doing, if anything ever gives you pain, that is your signal to stop and just lie down. Just rest, go to child's pose, just rest, listen. Um, Look at your phone, anything. Just kind of get away from the pain. Stop the pain always. If there's pain, immediately stop a pose. Discomfort and challenge is something different. You want to push through challenges. Okay, good. Let's straighten the legs back out and shake it out again like we did before. And then let's stretch up again. This time, do put your legs straight out, whatever position you were in before. Just leg extended straight out. And let's raise hands up nice and high. Again, like we're trying to touch the ceiling, stretching up, hinging from the hips, which is different than just reaching forward. This way I'm using my back. So we're stretching up high and then bending from the hips. Then we're hinging from the hips without pressure on the back. So up high and stretch and then hinge from the hips. It gives you a lot more length. So fingers come to the tops of the ankles, tops of the feet, tops of the shin, wherever you can stretch to. And just forward fold. Walk your hands, your legs. So you're sitting straight up again. And you can stay in this position for a cross, sit crisscross. We're just going to work on the upper back a little bit today. So I call this uh, kind of an opening and closing of the door. So bring your hands up together like this. Just make a nice L shape with your, with your elbow and open the door. As you do, squeeze your shoulder blades together like there's a pencil between your shoulder blades. You're trying to not let it fall down to the floor. Open the door, close the door. Open the door, close the door. Open, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Strengthen your upper back. Bring it together. Open, together. Do two more. Open, squeeze and them like you're trying to bring your shoulder blades together. Sometimes they say like there's a, a lemon between your shoulder blades. You're trying to make lemon juice, lemonade. Squeeze that lemon back together. And one more. Squeeze. Ooh, good, that makes your shoulders tired. So let's just kind of move the shoulders a little bit and just fall forward, stretching your upper back and separating your shoulder blades as you fold forward. Ooh, good, let's swing around here. Come back into neutral. We're going to eventually get to downward dog, but let's push back into child's pose first. Taking some breaths right here. Three good rounds of deep inhales, exhales. Good. Come on back up to knees. Curling the toes under and lifting the knees, coming up into downward dog. Again, pedal out the feet just to kind of get comfortable here. Spread the fingers wide. To help protect your wrist, it's helpful if you think about bringing your, your wrist and your hands kind of forward, kind of toward each other a little bit. It takes a little bit of pressure off of the wrist rather than just like this. If you think of twist, bending your hands in just a little bit inward, it takes some pressure off of the wrist. So again, let's pedal that out a little bit. And then we'll find some stillness in our downward dog. Feet widening a little bit, bringing your chest toward your thighs. Again, reach your hips up high. Take a couple of breaths here. And then 
your best way to get to the top of the mat. If you're able to just walk up to the top of the mat, come to the top, or if from downward dog you need to come to your knees, and then just kind of push yourself up, whatever way is easiest for you to come up to the top of your mat, get up to the top of the mat, and then stretch up nice and high. Let's do some of those snow angels. Big inhales up, and snow angels down. Let's just do one more of those. And exhale down. Good. Good. Roll the shoulders back a few times. We're going to go into a warrior two here. So let's step back. Step your right foot back behind you. Your right foot is kind of at an angle toward the length of your mat. Your left foot is straight forward. Let me correct myself on this. I was taking you into a warrior one, which let's do that. Let's start with warrior one. In this position, I've angled out. Square your hips to the front of the room. Not like this. This is what warrior two is, but we're in warrior one. So let's square the hips and just come up. Again, balance pose. Balance is so much of yoga. So here you're grounding in, grounding both feet into the mat, really feeling that this is your foundation because you're a little off here and it's easy to feel like you can lose balance, but trust your feet. Trust your feet to be grounding into the mat to give you good balance here and always keep breathing. Okay, we're in this nice warrior one position and now we're going to just bring arms down, rotate the back foot so it's really straight across toward the length of your mat. You're gonna widen your stance as you bend your front knee your knees right over your ankle. And then let's bring the arms up. A nice warrior two. Gazing right over your fingertips. Gazing over your fingertips. That is your gaze. Again, this is balance pose. Draw your belly in. Balance comes from core. So the stronger you can be in your core, the faster your balance will improve. All right, here we are in warrior two. Let's straighten the front leg. Bring your right hand to the back of your right thigh. And then lift your left hand up toward the seat. And gaze up at your fingertips. Balance. Keep breathing. And let's sink right back into warrior two. Sinking right back in. Bending into that front knee. Gazing over your left fingertips. Breathing. Good. Let's straighten the front leg. And again, sometimes there's no easy way to come out of warrior two. There's not always a pretty way. So just come out of warrior two, whatever is easiest for you. Just come back up, whatever that looks like. You're here on the mat. You're doing it. Don't worry about how it looks. Just get up to the easiest way for you. Up to the top of your mat. Let's roll the shoulders a little bit. Let's do some other um, lifts and again snow angels before we go to the other side. Big inhales, big exhales. Getting your arms out as wide as you can. Big inhales, big exhales. Keeping softness in the knees, never locking out the knees. And down. Just do one more. Inhale, exhale. Good. Take left foot behind this time. Left foot is at this angle of the side of the length of the mat, kind of at this, this angle where your left foot is pointing out, right foot is forward. This is where you want to square the hips. Square the hips to the front and lift up high. Keep breathing. Again, trust the foundation of your feet right here to keep you grounded and stable. Keep breathing, normal steady breathing. And then bring arms down and let's switch into warrior two. So now you're widening your stance. Your left foot goes straight out toward the length of the mat. Your right foot is forward in the center of the mat, bending into your knee. Your knee is right over your ankle and let's add an arm movement. 
So you're this nice warrior two. You're like between two planes of glass, two um, panes of glass right here. So it's like you could squeeze here between a, a wall. You're nice and flat on both sides. Extending that right hand out, gazing over your right fingertips. Keep breathing, keep trusting the foundation of your feet. And let's do the same on this side. Straighten the front leg, bring the left hand behind the left thigh, raise the right hand up toward the ceiling, gazing up at your fingertips. Right back in, sink right back into warrior two. Bending into that front knee, gazing over your fingertips, trusting your foundation here, trusting your balance. And then lower the arms. And again, your best way, bring your feet together any way that's easiest for you. Just kind of march that out a little bit, rolling the shoulders, just feeling movement. Then let's take hands up overhead. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, up, 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 up. Spread the feet just a little bit. We're going to come into a forward fold. And again, with forward folding, you're bending from the hips, hinging from the hips. Knees are soft, stretching up, and then kind of diving forward from the hips, all the way down to the floor, feeling your head heavy. Let your head hang heavy. Nodding it yes and no. Opening and closing your jaw softly. Bring hands down to the mat. Bend your knees in any way. You can come down to the mat. Back foot's come all the way down to the mat. Onto your knees as if you're in a push-up position. Come all the way down, lower down. Bring your hands up to the top of the mat. Left hand over right and rest your right cheek on top. Let's windmill the legs back and forth or windshield wiper the legs back and forth. Feel some movement there in the hips. And then let's do a couple of cobras here. Legs straight back out. Palms flat on the floor, lifting up so you feel that in your lower back. Lift up, inhale, and then exhale and lower forehead all the way down. Inhale, lift up. We can even do an upward dog with the arms straight or cobra with the arms bent. And exhale and forehead down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And one more. Inhale, lift. Up to upward dog this time, straightening the arms. And down, all the way down. Bring your hands back up to the top. This time, put your right hand on top of your left and your left cheek. Let's just switch sides. Before we were resting on our right cheek, now we'll rest on our left cheek. Same thing. This windshield wiper, legs back and forth. Let's push up all the way up, up to our knees. Push back into child's pose, all the way back. Resting, relaxing your back and hips, pushing all the way back, forehead to the mat. So just a couple of breaths here. And then let's lift up to a neutral tabletop, all the way up to the top. Swing around, bring your legs around. Come back up to easy seat. Let's roll down for one last stretch, one last little stretch. Roll down. It's always a good challenge for the abs. If you can roll down as slowly as you can, slowly roll down, or if that's not. Uh, Available for you, just kind of go all the way back from that. Whatever's your easiest way to get down from that. Spread one knee in, flex the foot, pushing your lower back into the mat. So the other side. 
or that knee in, flexing the foot. And out. Let's just take a few seconds here in Shavasana. If I were there with you in person, you know I would be lifting your feet up, kind of lengthening your legs, holding your leg down, gently pushing down on your shoulders to relax your shoulders. You just get in a comfortable position, palms up, the arms a little bit out from the armpits, giving your armpits a little air. Palms are up in a posture of receiving. Legs fall to their natural position. Close your eyes. Couple of deep breaths here, relaxation pose. Focus on this time that you've been together. Think about what you need to let go of in this posture of palms up, you need to let go of, but also what you need to receive. Focus on those things. You can stay in Shavasana for as long as you like, but for the sake of this recording, bend the knees, fall over to your right side, resting your head on your bent arm just for a few more breaths, and then slowly push yourself back up to easy seat. Come back up to a crisscross, keeping your eyes closed. Back to normal breathing. Lift hands up overhead, joining palms. Bring hands to heart center. As always, I'm grateful for this time with you, to be on this journey with you. It's an individual journey, but it's also a community journey. We are together, even though we're all individual and by ourselves and in our own homes or um, just wherever we are, we are on our own facing this journey of health and wellness but we also have a community of support for each other. And I'm grateful for this journey with you. Together we bow and say, Namaste.